George Michael sadly died in the early hours of Christmas Day in 2016 at the age of 53. His childhood friend, Andros Georgias, 59, has now claimed the late star may still be here if his first love, Anselmo Filippa, had not died of AIDS in 1993. George and Andros grew up together and both followed the same musical path, making a career in the industry, with the pair even touring together. The duo were so close that George called him his unofficial cousin, with Andros speaking out about how things may have been different if Anselmo hadn't tragically died. Speaking to the mirror, he said, George was the love of his life and if he hadn't died I think George would still be here. After Anselmo, he didn't find real love, he had a lot of sex and met lots of people but he never found what he had with Anselmo. I saw how happy they were. I think he was quite lost after Anselmo died, it hit him hard. George met Anselmo a dress designer, in a hotel lobby in the early 90s. The Wham! singer was 27 when they met and previously revealed he knew shortly afterwards that Anselmo was terminally ill. Speaking on Desert Highland Discs in 2007 he said, It was a very strange first love. It was very distorted by the situation. This was the first love of my entire life. It was tragic that I lost him, but it was a wonderful experience meeting him. There have only been three times I've really fallen for anyone. And each time, on first sight, something clicked that told me I was going to know that person. It happened with Anselmo across a lobby. George was found dead in his bed in Oxfordshire on Christmas Day 2016 by his boyfriend Fadi Fawaz. The celebrity hairstylist said, We were supposed to be going for Christmas lunch. I went round there to wake him up and he was just gone, lying peacefully in bed. The cause of death was confirmed on March 7 by Darren Salter the senior coroner at Oxford Coroner's Court. George had died of natural causes and had dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM, with myocarditis and fatty liver. DCM is a condition where the heart is enlarged and is unable to pump blood around the blood effectively, with myocarditis being an inflammation of the heart tissue. Sir Elton John was among the stars to pay tribute at the time, emotionally paying his respects at his Las Vegas show on December 28, 2017. He said, what a singer, what a songwriter. But more than anything as a human being he was one of the kindest, sweetest, most generous people I've ever met. George Real name Giorgio Scariacos Panayatu, rose to fame with Wham! in the 1980s. He went on to sell more than 100 million albums worldwide after going solo, with the star's success continuing after his death. George's music companies made a total of £8 million in 2019, four times as much as they did in the year he died. 